In this video, I thought I'd talk a little bit about DC inductive amp meters. Now, uh, AC inductive amp meters have been around for many years. In fact, I've got an antique one right here that I probably picked up at a garage sale or something like that. And here's another one here. And it's a, it's a handy little gadget because you can use it to measure the current going into an appliance or an electronic device. And the way it works is you simply clamp whatever you plug this into, you, you clamp one of the wires like this, and you can get a current reading to tell you how much amperage is going through the device. Now, I've had these DC amp meters for years. These are also inductive. They, uh, they move by the magnetic field going through the wire, and you don't actually make contact with the wire. You don't make electrical contact. It's just got a little channel here. You lay your wire inside. Same with this one here. Now these are designed primarily for automotive use, although they could be used for anything that DC. But as you can see, the scale of this one, 25 amps is right there and 75 goes up there. This one goes all the way to 600. So you gotta, you're going to have a hard time measuring real small currents uh, running through circuits with something like this. But the other day a friend of mine gave me a DC inductive amp meter. It's made by a company called Xtech. And I was impressed at how well it worked. Now, because DC uh, is steady current, you know, I was wondering how, how it would possibly pick up the, uh, tell you how much current is going through the uh, loop here. And basically the way it works is it senses a magnetic field. It doesn't have to be a fluctuating magnetic field or a pulse magnetic field. It just, in fact, I could even take a magnet and put it in the hole here, and I'll get a reading that way. But anyway, it, it's, it's not the most accurate meter I've ever had, I will say that. But what I like about it is I can measure anything from about a half amp on up, maybe even a little bit more sensitive from, the, from that. And all i got to do is put my wire right through here, one of the wires, and uh, I'll get a reading. Now this one here goes up to 400 amps. And uh, one of the problems I've had with it, however, I notice that sometimes you put this thing near anything that's got a little magnetism near it. And sometimes you get a reading here because, like I said, this thing is getting a reading off the magnetic field. So just for the fun of it, let's move this piece of metal here. Eh, eh not, not really getting a reading there, but a little bit of a fluctuation there. Anyway, this thing's designed so you have to kind of zero it out before you use it. So you got this little variable resistor here. You turn it down to zero, then you uh, clamp it around your um, wire with DC going through it. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that because I know a lot of you guys, like myself, you do a variety of different types of work. Sometimes you're doing automotive work, and a lot of times you might want to measure the current going through a wire without actually cutting it. And it's kind of hard to do with an amp meter like this, a non-contact meter, because it requires at least 25 amps before... Well, actually, you could probably get a reading with something a little smaller than that. But this one will ma measure easily a half an amp on up. So, anyway... For what it's worth, hope everybody's doing well out there. Haven't made a video for a while, so uh, I guess I'm, I'm mostly out there chasing the money like the rest of you guys, so don't get to make videos all the time. But anyway, I hope you like the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. I should have grabbed a magnet. In fact, here's a magnet. I'll show you, show you how you can use this thing to actually measure a magnetic field just off a magnet. Look at that just by putting a magnet near the loop. one point It looked like 1.2 amps for a second there. 5.9 amps. See, of course, it's just a magnet. But anyway, I thought that'd be fun.